Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic. Today we're going to be finishing up some of the Gaia stuff with Batania, and we're also going to be creating ourselves an unbreakable shuriken. So, I hope you guys are ready. I think we can go ahead and finish up Batania uh, while we're here. So, I know we have living wood, and a lot of our stuff is still over here in our Batania stuff, but we really just have runes that we need to make. So let me go ahead and grab some of the Batani materials. I really like to make those. Also, I think later on we're going to start working on um, getting ourselves our wireless uh, Emmy crafting terminal. Now that might be next episode we work on that. All right, let's get into some Batania. And getting ourselves finished up with, uh, or getting ourselves a, a, the Elven portal open. Because I think that would be definitely worthwhile. Uh, let's go ahead and make a Runic Altar. We need a diamond throw that into here actually is the mana diamond still a mana diamond because I know the other thing is steel okay so at least it's a mana diamond <laughs> the other stuff requires actual steel um, so runic altar definitely something What's the agglomeration plate? How bad is it? Is it still the vanilla recipe? It just requires all the base runes. Okay, so as long as this is still the same, it's going to be pretty easy on us. Hopefully. It's going to require a bit of steel, but I think we're going to be fine. So let's make the runic altar. That's how we're going to make everything. And then I have to make each and every one of these different tasks here, which is going to require one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I, uh, steel. So we need nine steel for this. We're also going to need five redstone. One, two, three, four, five. Five redstone, if this is still a redstone recipe. It is. Okay. And I think that's about it. These are just your base runes. Um, those are super simple. You just need to basically take the recipe. I'm going to make one rune for you guys. To show you how it works. But for the most part, it's super, super simple. <clears throat> and most of the items we should have access to. There we go. And redstone awesome and we can go ahead and set up our runic altar uh, where do I want to set this up well we can probably set it up right here these guys are about to be changed we'll point them away from our power system for right now so we can focus on this craft uh, all right the only other thing we need is the living rock and I think we have most, we can probably pull most of the stuff out of the tablet. Um, let's just make sure real quick. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the items that are required for this. Uh, most of them are able to be done, but some of them have to be crafted, it seems like. So here's all the setup items. Uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to do after you get to this point. Uh, we're just going to set these items in our hotbar and right click them in. You could, however, drop them in if you really wanted to. And they were need one mana steel and one powder. And that will start the process. Um, and then once this is finished, it's just as simple as dropping a piece of living rock on it by clicking it and then whacking it with your wand. Just right click it with your wand when it's done. And that will get you the runes. These runes are going to be definitely useful later on. And I just want to kind of get most of my Batania setup done. So I figure we can probably get the rest of it done today. And there we go. So I'm going to do this for the rest of them. So here is our last one. And just like that, we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and link these back here. Just to make sure everything has power again and our terminal and stuff stays on. But yeah, we have all of our runes now. Which means that we should be able to make ourselves an agglomeration plate. Provided that we have uh, nine more steel. It looks like. And we're also going to need... Uh, some lapis. So, not too bad overall. Three blocks of lapis. 
Perfect. And yeah, we're just going to convert this, uh, convert the steel over. There we go. Into a block. Uh, so the agglomeration plate is really, really nice. We're also going to need a little bit more lapis later on than this too. But f just for the crafting recipe, it's all this takes. There we go. So we have the agglomeration plate. Okay, so that's nice and all, and that actually crafts and uses some of our runes. Normal crafting recipes uh, involving the runic altar do not utilize, do, like, they won't consume the base runes. But in this case, this uh, agglomeration play actually does. So, lapis. We are going to need, uh, I believe, four blocks. So this utilizes, like, a whole stack of lapis, and we're also going to need some living rock as well. Awesome. Oh, and uh, sparks. I don't know if sparks have been changed. But sparks are something we're definitely going to need. Ah, we need petals, basically. Petals, and we're good to go. So let's grab some petals and put them in our system. And we just need two sparks for this. One on our mana pool, and we're good. Awesome. So, we need a place to set this up. I'm going to do it right back here where our chest is currently at. We should probably put this all these items anyways inside of our system. Um, that'll just help us later on down the road. I'll take my sparks, though. There we go. And that should work. We're going to break this. That'll give us the room we need for this thing. So we'll just place it right back here. In a little pattern that goes a little bit like this. With lapis here. And like that. And on top of that, we'll go an agglomeration plate. Just like so. On top of that, we'll go a spark, and on top of our mana pool, we'll go a spark. These sparks are linked. You can right-click them with a wand, and you can see that they are linked and will send mana together. Perfect. Now the only other thing we need is another piece of steel. <laughs> and we're just about ready to go. So steel, a diamond, and an ender pearl. Guys, we are about to rock this with Batania. It's so quick to do this. So we'll throw that in there, that in there, that in there. And really, we're just going to right-click those three items on this plate here. And this will start to produce Terra Steel. It's going to consume half our mana pool, though. So keep in mind that that's something that we're going to have to work on. But I'm not too concerned. This actually produces a lot of mana. Um, or, like, this setup does. It just produces a lot of mana really quickly, in my opinion. So while that's doing its thing, or after this do does its thing, we are going to have to take that Terra Steel and put it to work. We also need to focus these guys on two new mana pools, so we will have to take this and uh, make a mana pool out of it. So that should, that should be almost done. Look at it. It's consuming our mana pool. You can tell when it's done, when it's almost consumed all of the, or ha over half the mana pool. And this is probably the last section here. And there we go. We have ourselves a piece of Terra Steel. Awesome. So we're going to take this Terra Steel and actually break it down into its bits and bites. And there we go, we have a Terra Steel Nuggets. Um, I do, however, need to focus this on two new mana pools. So let's get our mana pool set up. Um, I'm going to actually place a mana pool here and here. And I guess we can get these guys focusing on it. And start working on getting these guys filled up a little bit. We need a little bit of mana in them. So that'll, that'll get to work. Alright, so while that's working, let's take our living wood. And we're going to take and... Get our living wood set up. So this will be our Elven Gateway core. And the rest of these nuggets are going to be used for some other stuff. So. First, making up mana and natura pylons. We need to make mana pylons. So, some steel. Probably should just take a bunch of this. I'll do 16 for right now. That should probably be enough to convert over to. I'll do two diamonds and couple pearls as well. So that way we have all these 
Oh, if this happens, just hold shift and right click with an empty hand. It'll pull it out of the inventory. Okay, so we need to make these pylons. We need two apiece. Also, these pylons act as uh, like full enchanting tables. If you have two of them next to enchanting table, it's actually like an exact full enchanting table. It's really nice. And then these are going to be upgraded. Um, let's show the upgrade for that so I can find the Natura pylon. So the Natura pylon is going to be Eyes of Ender. A couple Ender Pearls with some Blaze. And it's going to require the rest of our Terror Still Nuggets. And there we go. We pretty much have everything we need. Uh, we're missing one more thing, which is a glowstone. I believe it's just glowstone and living rock, and we need three of these. And that's it. We pretty much have everything to open ourselves a portal to Gaia, or uh, the elven portal to the elven dimension. To do this, place the elven core here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and actually I'm going to use my living rock as a template for the blocks that we're going to break. But yeah, just regular living wood here, living wood here, glimmering wood here. The blocks that are here are the ones that don't actually have to be placed. But this is how you would build this thing. It's crazy. I've built it so many times that I know exactly how to do this. I love this mod so much. Um, so... We also need to place our Natura pylons directly on top of these mana pools. And once we're ready to turn this thing on, uh, once we have enough mana inside these mana pools, which right now is definitely not enough, but what I can do is once we turn it on for the first time, it's good to go. Let's make a mana tablet. And we can fill this tablet with a little bit of mana via this pool make sure this is um, accepting mana from the pool and we need a little bit so I'm gonna do it doesn't it doesn't have to pull them from both pools directly it can pull from just one pool um, but I'm gonna let this consume a little bit and then we're gonna fill this thing up and we're gonna try and start it once it's up it won't use any more mana so you'll be perfectly fine so I'm gonna throw this in here now this is going to be sending uh, mana from the mana tablet to the pool. And this is a good way to, to move mana around, um, to be honest. But over time, this is actually going to, to build up quite a, quite a lot. And this is actually the mana that we're going to use for crafting recipes. Um, can I pick you up? There you go. Fill that up a little bit. We might actually have enough. Let's go and try to turn it on. And... Oh, we didn't have enough mana. So, yeah, we still need a bit more mana. I'm going to try draining the rest of this pool. That should be enough mana to start it, though. We almost, I think it was just barely missing. It was missing just a little tiny bit of mana in order to work. That's not going to work. we got to toss it in there just right. There we go. This should totally be enough. And voila. So it should have used, yeah, it used a significant amount of mana. And as long as this is open, as long as it's you don't turn it off, it's not going to use any mana. It only uses mana whenever you convert items through it. Also, never use this as a trash can. Very bad idea. The only thing it'll do is just basically lock you out of your world. Or it'll lock you out of your uh, your base if you're on a server. Um, if you're within so many blocks of it. So bad idea. Do not use this as a trash can. There are garbage cans in here if you want trash cans. Um, so yeah, do not use that. Uh, at least I don't recommend doing it. Because uh, you, once you hit it, uh, once you fill it with so many items, it'll uh, it'll lock you out of your game. You won't be able to join back into your world unless you remove the mod. Which would remove everything you've done. So, not not too fun to deal with that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this just basically generate. I mean, this is gonna it's gonna use a little bit of power. We do have a, a little bit of a buffer here, of power. So my my system will actually stay on for quite a while 
after we lose our initial power because of the backup that we have. But eventually it will lose power, and once that happens, the only thing I need to do is just make sure it's connected back to our power system. But guys, I think we've gotten a lot of stuff done today. Um, I don't know about you, but like, oh, our sword must be broken. Like, we've gotten a ton done. I'm going to head over here. I want this guy still continuing to do its thing. Uh, as you can see, I also uh, moved my Tinker stuff over to here, which makes a lot more si uh, sense. So yeah, we can throw in some uh, obsidian sharpening kits. Oh yeah. Let's grab those. Look at that. Repair our sword. It is ready to go and fight again. Fight once more against the skellies. So after going ahead and, and after we got our Batania stuff ready to go, I think I'm going to go ahead and before we finish up with this, I want to go ahead and actually make myself a shuriken that is unbreakable. Before that, we are going to need a little bit of gold. So let's go ahead and grab some gold. And uh, I'm going to need to make some just blank casts. And to do that, I'm probably going to turn this one side off just by removing this. And that way we can just get at least five blank casts that are going to pour out of here, so... We need five a piece there. Perfect. And then that should just make some blank casts. We're going to need five of them um, because I believe the reinforcement. The reinforcement modifiers, which these are fancy frames. Right here. Yeah, should just be obsidian and a blank cast or a cast of any kind. Awesome. So that should be pretty simple to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I also kind of have my materials picked out that I want. I think I'm going to go with two red matter. Actually, we might need more red matter depending on how much it costs to make these tools pieces. Um, but we should be able to get away with this. It should be knife parts, right? To make a shuriken. It is knife blades. And this is a knife blade. So how much is it? Is It's one. Okay. So we're going to make two of these out of this. And then I do need some... Prismarine, which I think is either in here, or we get the Prismarine, is it in here? We get Prismarine from Quartz, that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this over here, and we're going to make a part out of Prismarine. Um, and the reason I want to do that is going to help even get our it's going to help get our stuff even higher uh, when it comes to attack. And this is also going to help us with our attack. All right, so let's throw some prismarine. I guess four makes one. So there we go. And last but not least, we are going to need paper. So if I can type in here, <laughs> sugarcane is going to be great for that. Get ourselves some paper. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and make ourselves one that's paper. Once we have all of our parts, we should be able to build this thing pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and throw these two pieces here, here, and here. That should leave us with weed. We have writable 2, jagged, and aquadynamic. Um, the attack is pretty low right now, but I think we could, I think we should be able to build this thing up for sure. Doesn't really matter what pattern we put them in, just as long as we have a suitable pattern here. Um, so yeah, this should this should be a pretty decent one. Now on the jagged, our durability is 133, so pretty much I need to get this thing all the way down to its lowest durability. So best way to do that, I guess, is just to uh, shoot these guys off the edge. <laughs> Until I get 103 of them out. Because um, I'm going to get this thing down to one durability. So with this thing down to one durability, you can see we also now get a jagged damage bonus of 5.92. So almost 6 on top of this. So, I mean, pretty decent. Uh, as long as it's over 10, usually your shurikens are going to be very great. Um, but, I mean, we always have the Archangel here. This is just for your occasional mobs that show up. Because I'm afraid I'm going to kill all of my passive animals. Um, with this, because this doesn't honestly care what it's going for. All right, so let's go ahead and take out our blank casts. And for this, we're just going to need some obsidian. And uh, we throw that in here, and we'll make ourselves an unbreakable shuriken. 
just like that. And let's go ahead and apply these modifiers. We do have five base modifiers. That's what the, the paper does. Later on, we can change that paper part out if we really want to. So we're going to reinforce this thing until it is unbreakable, just like that. So now this thing should be also, it should stay at its max stat right here with its max one. And I think we can still pick, we can pick shurikens up, which is great because um, I've had issues in the past before where I didn't use any of the durability before making it unbreakable and I couldn't pick up the, uh, the entities. The little things that are in the, the ground. It kind of it kind of gets annoying when you have tons and tons of them that are just laying all over the place. You kind of want to pick them up. So we're doing pretty good damage here, right? Um, pretty much eight plus six. So pretty decent damage in the ammo set to one. Um, so yeah, the more we use this, of course, it's going to level up. Um, I don't think it would function if we put it in here. It's just going to like punch with it, which does do stuff. Uh, I think the modifiers still function um, even when you punch in, uh, an entity with it, but uh, not the greatest tool in the world, but it's not always nice to have an unbreakable shuriken. You never know when you're going to need to use it. So guys, I hope you learned something today about Batania or about Tigger's Construct. Guys, I really appreciate you guys with all the positive comments you guys believe in the, the comment section and, all, and give these videos thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. Guys, I'll see you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,